I don't have a top going right now, but let's pretend I did, and I'm ready to put in a bearing, and I don't want to drop the damn thing and, you know, lose one of those expensive rubies. So you can get this drafting tape at Michael's or uh, other craft-like stores, or I'm sure you can probably get it on Amazon. I think I got it at Michael's. It's called drafting tape, and uh, you can go in and ask for drafting tape, and they'll be able to find it no problem. It's essentially just masking tape that's cut uh, to a quarter inch in this case. And I think that the package also came with one that was uh, an eighth inch in diameter. Anyhow, um, I, I don't know, I don't think that I came up with this, but uh, I don't remember who I got it from if I didn't. Um, either way, go ahead and just grab yourself a couple inches, tear it off, lay it basically face up on your table, which is a little challenging because it's sticky, of course. You want an adhesive side up. There we go. So it's adhesive side up. Uh, so in this case, I'll grab the smallest bearing that I have, which is a uh, 332nd. There we go. All right. So I have a tiny little 332nd bearing there. You know, maybe this, may this be a little bit easier. So typically I take that bearing and I set it down on there, but maybe it'd be easier to just grab that tape and uh, stick around the bearing. There you go. That's it. So that bearing stuck to the tape. I didn't even have to do much, I just stuck it on there. All right, now, I don't wanna lose that bearing. When I walk it all the way across my messy ass shop, over here to the top that I'm not working on because this is just a demonstration. But what I would do, let me see if I can't set you down here. There we go. So uh, say that was a top rotor uh, with a stem sticking through. All that I do is I take that bearing, put it in the hole, and then push that tape over the rotor. Now, of course, there's no rotor here, but you can put that bearing in your bearing pocket and put that tape over there and then press it however you prefer to press it. But absolutely no dropped bearings anymore. I haven't dropped a bearing in, in ages. And that little trick is uh, super, super simple.